Well, good afternoon. Welcome to Twerden Park for this afternoon's National League South fixture between Bath City and Hungerford. My name's Andrew Kersnake. Alongside me, I have Michael Powell. Good afternoon, Michael. Well, good afternoon, Andrew. Well, we come this afternoon, two victories in the trot. There's a faint whiff of optimism around Twerton Park, isn't there? Yeah, the last few weeks, things have definitely been on the up for Bath City. Capped, obviously, last Saturday with that impressive victory down at Haven to Waterlooville. And, yeah, earlier in the season, there was a few struggles. They were on a poor run of form, but now certainly optimism and, and looking upwards. Well, the team's coming out onto the pitch, so I think it's time for you to go through the two lineups for us. You're handing over to me because we're not 100% sure on Hungerford, aren't you? <laughs> I'll start with Bath City because we do know how they're going to line up. So, as we feared there, it's one change from last Saturday. Enforced in goal, Ryan Clark missing after a positive COVID test. So, Will Fuller comes into the starting lineup, his second league appearance for Bath City. So, it's Will Fuller in goal, back four of Eddie Jones, Jack Batten, Callum Wood, and Zach Delaney. Jordan Dyer and Joe Reigns in central midfield. And the three of Alex Fetcher, Mo Torre and Elliot Freer just off Cody Cook. Hungerford Town think they're going to line up 3-4-3. Three, three. I think the back three is probably going to be Matt Berry, Hargreaves, Max Ram and Keith Emerson. Midfield four of Louis McGrory who's come into the side and captains them this afternoon along with Jake Evans. George Smith and also Curtis Angel and front three of Ryan Seeger along with Sol Wanju Smith and Matt Jones. It's two changes from last Saturday. It's uh, Reese Tyler and Callum Wilmoth who is suspended, both dropping out of the starting lineup. McGrory and Angel coming in. OK, well, we're up to kick-off, so I'm going to hand over to you, Michael, for our first half commentary. Uh, thank you very much, Andrew. As both sets of players take the knee here at Tuerton Park. And it will be Hungerford Town to get us underway in this National League South fixture. Ryan Seeger standing over the kickoff. The visitors decked out all in their away red strip this afternoon, kicking towards the Bath end in the first half. Bath City in their usual black and white stripes into. Wandu Smith, he was sent off last Saturday, but that red card was rescinded, so free to play this afternoon. Is now Tora in the centre circle, gets pulled back. Referee though plays advantage, out to Fletcher on the right side. The area stands up across towards the far post, and Cook couldn't quite get there. Which goes into the Bath City area. Nodded away by Dyer. Luke's ball is volleyed back in by Evans, but that's not troubling Will Fuller. And it's volleyed forward by George Smith, man celebrating his birthday this afternoon. Jones swings one in low, it's picked up and a first time shot by Angel, but comfortable for Fuller to gather. And it will be Jones to swing in the corner kick, plenty of players in the six yard box. He delivers it in and it's headed and it's off the outside of the post, Hungerford Town so close to taking the lead. Yeah, City defence there I think a little bit at sixes and sevens. Barry Hargraves with the follow-up. Now they're out to Freer on the Bar City left and a little bit of space. Chance to maybe take on Angel. Still with Freer. Drives in across. Headed away by Ram. And as far as Dyer, 30 yards out. Drags the first time shot. And now it's with Reigns. One over the top. Cook with a flick on. Emerson is there to clear. Upfield. Jones and nods it to Fletcher, slightly heavy touch. Dyer can then nip in, plays it to Torre, 25 yards out, up towards the edge of the area. Still Mo Torre goes for goal, it's saved. And the rebound just trickles a couple of yards away from Cody Cook and cleared upfield by Jones, but the closest we've come to breaking the deadlock here at Twerton Park. Yeah. Hesitated for a moment there as to whether he was going to pass the ball, and the end elected to shoot himself. And a stinging blow as City win a free kick just outside the area. Yeah, it was a really good touch by Cook originally to cut inside. I think he wants a penalty. The incident was definitely outside the box. Yeah. Or, in fact, there's not been a free kick. It's just going to be a throw-in, I think. Oh. No, I'm surprised at that. Certainly outside the area, no doubt about it. It was a slightly theatrical floor, but I think there was contact. Hemel Hempstead have equalised at home against Slough Town. As at the third time of asking, it's not a free kick, it's not a throw-in, it's actually a corner kick which Joe Reigns will take. 
swings it in. It's met by Dyer, and it's just a yard over the crossbar. Yep, two good chances for City in a very short space of time. Good to see Will Fuller really alert there. Likes to stand quite some way off his line, but straight away came out for that ball, recognising the danger. Now Reigns with it, 25 yards out, striding forward, tries to give it through to Fletcher in the area, across goal, good save by the feet of Kearney. Still alive with Reigns on the edge of the box, and then he's judged to have brought down. Evans will be a free kick, that was excellent build-up play, and just the right boot of Luke Kearney, stopping Bar City go in front. Uh, felt a bit of sorry for Reigns there, I think both Reigns and Evans both going for the ball. And another pause in play now is Luke Kearney, the goalkeeper down. And straight back to Wood though. Good interception by Wood. He was looking to find Fletcher out on the right hand side. Ball didn't get to him, but City's still in possession now. Ball forward looking for Fletcher, who goes down under pressure from Emerson. Doesn't get anything. Hungerford centre back clears that field. That was met by Delaney. Now we're freer on the halfway line. Falls back to Wood. Ball forward ricochets off the shins of Wandry Smith. And out for Bar City throw it midway inside their own half. As we are in the 38th minute, and therefore there is going to be a good round of applause around Twerton Park. For Marvin Morgan, who tragically passed away this week at the age of 38. All the crowd rising in the stand here. Celebration of uh, a player who was a great character and a, a great entrepreneur, did a lot of work for charity as well. Sadly, passed away aged 38. Up to Jones on the bar, City right. That's Fletcher ahead of him, who he uses. Still with Fletcher, tries to cut inside round, which he does, but backtracking was Jones. It will be a bar, City corner kick. In fact, he goes low. Runs his way to Fletcher. Stands up across. Still alive. Cook batting away in there, and Barry Hargreaves can hack it clear under pressure. Reigns drives in this corner, Cook in space, and it's off the crossbar, still alive and hooked clear by Ram. Bar City coming closer. Yeah, the best attempt yet. Didn't get much power on it, but it just looped down off the crossbar. And again, the uh, hunger for goalkeeper, Luke Kearney, gone down onto one knee. I don't think it's in any sort of tribute. I can't believe that this is just trying to waste time. Go back to Delaney. On to Freer, swings in a low cross. Cleared by Emerson as far as Jones, 25 yards out. Going to go for a strike, which is straight down the throat of Keeney. It's going to be taken by Jake Evans. Once again, it's, it's off the... Oh, it's completely miscued at the near post by Delaney, and I'm not sure if it was Fuller or Woodwork that stopped that being a very awkward own goal. Hungerford still have it on the left with Evans. Plays it into Seeger, 18 yards out. Tries to bend it, but just bends it straight at Will Fuller with Barry Hargreaves. Goes at life, flicked on by Wandry Smith. Seeger turns it around the corner. Wandry Smith is onto it. He's in behind her, inside the area. A big chance, and he's completely miscued it and lost his footing at the last minute to the grateful relief of Will Fuller. That was terrible. He should have scored there. <laughs> well, and with that, that is the last action of the half. It's Bar City nil, Hungerford Town nil at the half-time interval. Bar City still on the front foot. Delaney. Back to Dyer, into Torre, 25 yards out. It's good to range. It's going to go for a long-range strike, but straight into the midriff of Kearney. Nice strike from Reigns. Hungerford get on with the throwing quickly. From Barry Hargreaves. Wandry Smith flicks it on, then Seeger trying to cut inside. And... Well, the linesman is flagging, the referee is pointed to the penalty spot, and it's a penalty kick to Hungerford Town. I think that's one of those that would go down as harsh. Hard for us to judge here how much contact there actually was. Greyhound is back to us. But there's no doubt that this is going to be a penalty. Seeger steps up, and it's saved by Fuller. Loose ball comes to Angel, puts it across. Fuller there to gather just his second appearance of Bar City, and Will Fuller's just made himself a hero. Well done, nothing wrong this afternoon up until this point. 
Well, that was a great save. I called it the wrong way. Went to his left and uh, Fuller down to that very quickly. And a really good penalty save because that was hit at some pace. That's why Will Fuller's in goal for Bar City and Andrew Kirstek's in the press box alongside me. I, I think even if I guess right, it would still be the case. Alex Fletcher got a bit of a whack in the back of the head. He's gone down. Rusby pills it in. It's a good one. Battengan half clear. It's on the edge of the area. It's another one gone down. Barca can get on with it. Torre can't quite get there. It's good defending by Ram. The player went down a little theatrically and uh, Joe Raines now has received a yellow card. Yeah, I'm not sure what for. Something he's probably said out of turn, I guess. Yeah. 25 yards out on the Bath City right. Into Fletcher, comes central, trying to find room for a shot, which he does. It's parried out, it's going to come to Cook. Forced wide, back across and turn behind for a corner kick. Fletcher tries to get to the byline, held up by Jones. And then it's cleared upfield of Andrew Smith and Jones sliding in. And the decision goes Hungerford's town's way. It'll be a free kick. And then there's a bit of argy bargy in the centre of the pitch as they try to get on with it quickly and Bar City stop them. Yeah, lots of pushing and shoving there. Referee just standing back, waiting for it to all settle down. Eddie Jones and Jake Evans are in the book. Very good attendance once again, isn't it? Another four-figure gate here at Twerton Park. Bar City's last home game, of course, of 2021. Keeney's free kick goes straight to Fully, gets on with it quickly. That's a catalogue of players batting away, and well, the free kick has gone hundred for Towns way as Torre and Rusby came together. I'm not sure what Mo Torre did wrong there. I don't think Mo Torre did anything wrong there. If anything, I thought the free kick was going to go by City's way. There's no Fletcher is being pulled back, gets a free kick and then the ball is kicked away by George Smith and I have to say Mr Wooten is somewhat starting to lose control of this game the ball finds Fletcher five yards out of the Hungford half, tries to stay down the line for Cook, Barry Hargus gets there, he appeals a handball it has, to, has to be a handball and the referee is somehow going to give a goal kick which is an absolutely extraordinary decision that's very poor. He obviously didn't see it, but it was a blatant handball. It's flicked on, finds Wanju Smith. He must have played in fields. In a bit of space is Angel. He's trying to find room for a strike, which he does, but that was a couple of yards wider. Fuller's upright. Come through to Eddie Jones of Bar City. Forward, looking for Cook, who's absolutely wiped out by Ram. And eventually we'll get a free kick. Yes, I'm surprised the referee hasn't had a word with Ram there. He came in at real pace on the back of Cook. Dale Wooden just ambling away from it as if nothing amiss had occurred. Here's Reigns now. Slides it into Fletcher in the area. Can he sort his feet out? Still with Fletcher. And eventually it's ushered away from him by Jones. And out of play. And the final touches off Fletcher for a goal kick. He just couldn't quite sort his feet out, Alex Fletcher. Right work out what he was trying to do there. I think he was trying to work it back onto his favoured left foot when really he should have taken it first time right footed. Loose ball breaks away with Smith in the centre circle. It's a poor ball forward to Jones. And volleys it forward first time. Rusby and Cook back in the way. Loose ball breaks to Fletcher. Now onto Torre, 25 yards out. Tries to slide it through. Coming his reins! And it's straight at Kearney who blocks with his feet. Big chance of our city. And they couldn't take it. Lovely pass from Torre. Saw reins coming in away on the far right hand side. Reigns hit the ball first time, which was probably the right thing to do, but unfortunately straight at the legs of Kearney. Into Torre, just inside the area. Back to goal, back to Reigns. Drives in a low cross. As there is Fletcher, and it's hopped away. And Jones has it midway inside his own half. Long, looking for Fletcher. Ram is underneath it. The loose ball will drop to Reigns on the right-hand side, 25 yards out. Looks to get away from his man, still with Reigns. Still going, and goes down, and doesn't get anything. And it's cleared upfield by McGrory. 
out for a varsity throw. Maguri then goes down and stays down and is going to be allowed to get some treatment. Jerry Gill goes through another manifestation of exasperation as the trainer makes slow progress across the pitch. Alex Fletcher, who's making way for Dave Burgess, made his varsity debut last Saturday with a short cameo. Makes his home debut this afternoon and got about 10 minutes plus stoppage time to make an impact. As Torre has it midway inside the Hungerford half. Plays it out to Freer on the left-hand side. Closed down by Angel. Still with Freer, tries to take him on, crosses in early. Here is Cook with the header and it's a yard or so over the crossbar. Yeah, ball dipping onto Cook's head there, wasn't able to get any power on it. Just up and over the crossbar. It's going to be a long one into the area. Launches it in, over a couple of players. Loose ball breaks the way of Jones who smashes it into the top corner. It's a brilliant strike from Jake Evans, 20 yards out, no chance for Will Fuller. And five minutes before the end of the game, Hungford Town may have just snatched all three points. Uh, that's deeply unfortunate for City. They've been on the attack for most of this half. And really out of the blue, they find themselves a goal behind. Yeah, it, was, it was a throw-in in from Rusby that I think caught a few players by surprise. Seemed to go a bit further than they thought when it broke 20 yards out. Evans, it looked like the ball was stuck under his feet and he just managed to bend it into the top corner. Superb finish. And Hungerhood Town lead at Twerton Park. Jones brings it up towards the halfway line. And we'll clip a diagonal into the area. Barry Hargreaves wins the header, drops the way of Torre. Nods it out to Sims Burgess on the right, just inside the area. Bends in across towards Cook, who's inches away from getting on the end of it. Very close there. If Cook could have gained just half a yard. Fuller launches it into the area. It's a whole posse of players in there. It's still bouncing around. Dyer nods it forward. It's headed away. Jones will be able to run it up towards the halfway line. He's well, played it forward, it's going to roll through to Fuller, but with that, it is the full time whistle. It finishes Bath City deal. Hungerford Town at one. A lovely strike by Jake Evans in the 86th minute, settling this one. And it's the visitors who take all three points. The Hungerford Town manager dancing onto the pitch, arms raised, as if he's just won some massive FA Cup tie. I have to say, this is a match that leaves something of a sour taste in the mouth, I think, Michael. Played in a very dull first half, uh, and played by a side, you feel, determined to do everything from the first whistle to get a draw. Great game for Will Fuller, managing to save the penalty. Very little he could do about the goal. But City going down here at Twerton Park when, I'd say, in terms of possession, they've probably had about... 60-70% of the play. Yeah, they were the, the better team, weren't they, for a draw to that game. Created some chances, maybe didn't work Luke Kearney as much as they would have liked. They didn't quite create as much as they can, but it, it did feel a little bit smash and grab from Hungerford. Well, that's all from us this afternoon. Thank you very much for joining us on Bath City Radio, where it finished. Bath City nil. Hungerford Town won. Jake Evans with an 86th minute goal to steal all three points for the Crusaders. We'll be back next Saturday for that trip to Ebbsfleet, so if you can't make the Kent, uh, sorry, the trip to Kent, do tune in. We'll be on air from 2.45 for that one. But in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your weekend and we'll see you next Saturday. <laughs>